Let's talk about uh, Cesar Chavez. Yes. Uh, you had a screening of this film at the White House mm -hmm. last week, and you you brought your mom. Is that right? Yeah. And and your mom was hoping to meet the president. Yeah. When she realized that she wasn't meeting him, I she, there was like this audible like. Like when I came back into the room. So you got to, you got to hang with the president, but she did not. Yeah, apparently we all got shuffled. Like we, we weren't really sure. We all walked in, then we got shuffled into another room, and it's just the cast and crew who got to take, you know, have a meeting with him like really quickly. And Dolores Huerta didn't even go in. Like my, America's husband didn't go in. Like it was just us. And then we came back out, and he introduced the film. And when he was talking about it, Pablo Cruz, who was one of the producers, said that he would give him a copy of the movie mm -hmm. because he wasn't going to be able to watch it with us. He's at the so screening. busy being president. Yeah, exactly. And he was like, "Oh, this will be so great because Michelle and the girls just went off to China." And I'll be be able to watch it this weekend. He goes, so I'll get the CD and play it. And my mom was like, DVD. <laughs> <laughs> like all loud while he's doing the announcement. And he was like, oh, oh you know, yes. She heckled the DVD. president? She totally heckled the president. She was like, DVD, I'm, I'm technologically challenged. And I was like, see, mom, you had a moment with the president. It's all good. That's so cool. <laughs> good for your mom. That's kind of <laughs> scary. Like, I don't think so. DVD. It was such a mom moment, though. Like, you're doing press. Get it right. You That's know? so like, cool. So cute. Good for her. Well, we have a clip here from Cesar Chavez. Uh, Clearly uh, a very important figure, a very important film. What can you tell us about this clip? Um, this is when, you know, they're trying to take it to the next gear, you know, where they're really going to expand the boycott and take it um, all the way through to get even more people to be a part of the movement, not just the farm workers. Mm -hmm. And this is where the success really comes in, is when everyone starts to take this idea of people who, who pick our food being able to feed their own families and everyone being a part of that story. Okay, let's take a look at this clip from Cesar Chavez. People are starting to lose hope, and I don't blame them. They know the growers have broken the strike with the illegal workers and the sweetheart deal with the Teamsters. We can't ask them to keep going when they see people working in the fields. We have to take the next step. We're too weak. We have no laws to protect us here. With the boycott, there are no laws to stop us. This is the moment, Caesar. This is what we came here to do. Incredible how, how many years ago now? 40, 45 years ago, it's still the same issues. Still a lot of the same issues. So I hope people watch this. It's sort of like Activism 101. You really see what it took to, to have farm workers organize in small town of Delano and have it build across California, across America, go into and through the White House and out into Europe. It was one of the largest nonviolent movements we've ever seen. And so I hope that people build on it today. All right, we'll check out this film. Cesar Chavez.